On this episode of Social Media Stalker, we are looking at the most trending story on social media. In Zambia, social media was flooded with postings of Christ Freedom Ministries Prophet, a Nigerian national who was once deported from Zambia and now he is based in South Africa, Prophet Andrew Edimadu, popularly known as Sia One, who is in his video allegedly demanding his power back from the Patriotic Front government officials following the 2016 general election victory. Now, Andrew Edimadu who is also known as Siawan, posted a video on his Facebook page on January 27, 2019 at 12.17 p.m. The video was captioned, and I quote, Zambian government continues to provoke God, and its results will be too bad. Watch this, Siawan. Well, let's take a look at this video. Because you cannot arrest somebody because that person called for prayer. warning men of God in Zambia. You remember that prophecy? The problem is not me. See, I'm not in Zambia. I don't need Zambia. Look at the crowd here. How can I leave these beautiful people that are giving me everything, then I go to Zambia? What am I looking for? What do I want? I was speaking on behalf of them in Zambia. I said, men of God, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! does not have respect for you. Why? Because you're always following them to collect envelope. Amen. I want them. Today, a man of God just was on radio and said, let us pray against the ritual killing. The government went and arrested him. A government of Zambia that claimed to be holy. Christian nation. They don't respect men of God. They don't read that scripture that says, touch not the anointed. I don't blame them. Because the pastors there, what, they, are, they are cowards. That's true, Papa. They are only posting on Facebook. Mm. Release Bishop Kajira. That is stupidity, my friend. Mm. One day, you see, you see, but you see, the word is a seed. Any seed you are sowing, you will reap it. Today, Bishop Kajila is arrested and everybody is quiet. They are making noise on Facebook. Another day, because government, don't, they no longer respect church. They don't respect men and women of God. Since I was deported from Zambia, they can arrest anybody at any time. That's true, Papa. No one is talking. No one is challenging them. Everybody is hiding. A man of God said, let us pray. They arrested him. What rubbish. What nonsense. What audacity do you have to disrespect God? Amen. That is why God looked at the regime, PF, and said, you are not going anywhere again. And they, I, I want to say this. Yes, Papa. I want to say this to you. Talk, Daddy. Ministers, MPs, mayors, when I was there, there were even deputy MPs. All of you that are in PF that collected power from me, return it within 20 days. Listen. Listen. They know. The last time I gave prophecy, they started writing me inbox. See, I want, please. See, I want, please. I don't want inbox apology. The same thing they collected for me from favor to win election is the same thing they are using to oppress innocent people. Yeah. Stealing from innocent people. Whether you still give me tight, you don't give me tight, so long as I gave you something, do as I say, or whatever I gave you in secret, in, you are in PF government. Return it. Now, I am saying this, many people will think that it's a joke. See, I why are you doing this? Why can't you keep secret? I can't keep secret when people are dying. I can't keep secret when you are arresting innocent men and women of God just for calling for prayer. I can't keep quiet. 
three boys. Next Sunday, if you don't call me and make plan to come to South Africa and return my staff, I return my door, as I say, I will mention your name. The other Sunday, if you don't bring it, you will die. Mark my word, I swear. There is no phone call apology. I don't want it. Return what you took. And I've said it again today. Because of how PF has become arrogant. How can you arrest a man of God that is preaching? Where is the respect for Jesus? Where is the respect? Where? My son, where is the respect? In those days in the Bible, before you touch a man of God, you think twice. I don't blame you. I don't PF government. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I blame those men of God that comes to you. You are mad. I'm telling you. That is why they don't respect you. After arresting Bishop Kajila, they will arrest you. I'm telling you. It is, you see, Bassin, my son, seed. You see this big tree here. It didn't grow like this in a day. It started slow. Today they have arrested Bishop Kajila. That didn't do anything. Tomorrow, they will arrest other people. Even those of you that are singing and dancing for PF as a man of God, as a woman of God, very soon they will arrest you. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. When a lion is in the desert looking for food, looking for food, he continues searching for food, he cannot find food, he will eat his child to survive. You are with them, you are with PF. Yeah, if PF win an election, I swear, I'm not supposed to swear. God doesn't want people to swear, but mm, I swear, if they win an election, I will drop this microphone. I will never preach again. We shall know power. 2016 election, do you want me to talk? Go, go, go. I know how we won it. And I know the original winner of that election. Yes. That's what I'm saying. All of you, the ministers, from A to Z, mayors, no matter who you are, I don't care. Yes. Whether you're among the people that are still paying your tithe to me or not, return all the things I gave you. Mm. Your time is up. Yes. Next Sunday, I'm going. Next Sunday, mm. when you finish watching this clip, you don't return them. Next Sunday, I will mention your names one by, by one. one. Mm. And when I mention it, I publish our chat one by one. Yes. And after that, the other Sunday, I will kill you. There is nobody. I'm telling you it goes through. I'm telling you. I'm not a joke. They know what I'm talking about. They know what I'm doing. They know that C.I. want does not joke. Be very, very careful. Return my things. Yes. And be free. Amen. Social media was flooded with a lot of postings about this video on CR1. And now, Dingindawa, John Awioya, a Zambian journalist of Diamond Television, posted a video of which he engaged the prophet in a live interview. Let's take a look at this. I'm not uh, angry that I was deported. Uh, I only became angry because so many things are going wrong there and uh, someone might be saying but you're in nigeria what what do you have to why do you always have to talk about zambia but uh, you, you are not a zambia i have a lot of children in zambia i have millions of children in zambia who are following me faithfully when i was in zambia in Wasefa, that's been happening there is affecting them. That's why you see me, God give me messages to speak about Zambia. I'm not angry, I'm not upset with anybody. You've made different pronouncements even in your previous video that the Patriotic Front was going to lose elections. That's where, that's where it all started. So are you still maintaining that the PF will lose elections? Of course, PF is going to lose elections. It's already done in the realm of the spirit. There is nothing that can change. You know, I've also received messages from 
a lot of people. I ha I have a lot of children in PF. Sorry. I have a lot of children in PF, and uh, many of them have sent me messages. Papa, can't you change things in the realm of the spirit? Can't you do this? I tell them, no, there is nothing we can do. It's guaranteed PF is going to lose election come 2021 because God is not happy with them. What many things are you talking about? You say many things uh, are making God angry. There are so many things. Corruption is too much. Uh, there, are, there are some things I cannot speak on TV. There are things I cannot speak. I have, I have already given them... Um, what, what many things? What many things? What many things? Would like to know those many things. There are many things. When you come to me as CEO, and many people come to me as CEO one to pray for them. Many people come to me as CEO one to collect power. Many people come to me as CEO one for so many things. There are things that we talk when we are talking about power that are not supposed to be made public. But many of them know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to mention their names. Although many of them have been sending me messages, apology, calling, many of them are coming. But this Sunday, I'm going to mention the name of those people that collected power from me. And because they took power, they, be, they became big-headed. They, they, they don't want to help the people. Our Godfather does not give power to people to oppress people. Our Godfather gives power to people to help people. Like me, he gave me power. I use it to heal the sick. I use it to perform my recommend. I use it to do something that helps the people. I don't use it to oppress the people. So most of those people got power from me, and they are using it to oppress the people. They are using it to uh, inflict the people. You see? So that's why... Uh, I am a little bit angry, and that's why I'm telling you that there will not be an election because we have already in the realm of the spirit done everything. I'd like to find out what is this power that you speak of. You you speak of this power that you you give people power. I've never heard. <laughs> it's a spiritual power. <laughs> what what spiritual power do you have? What kind of power? It's a spiritual power. It's a power that makes you to control things. Like me, I can tell you, everybody is watching in Zambia. Uh, and many people don't actually know how I was deported. And people don't know what happened. You see, like uh, in Zambia, the, the news that, the information that the Roma first gave people is that CIA1 was a threat to national security. That's why we deported him. But I've never stolen from anybody. I never did anything bad to anybody. But uh, it was not the first time that we are planning to deport me. It, it took them years to catch me, to deport me. Sorry, sorry, that, that is a call. It took them years to, to manage to deport me. And before they deported me, I agreed, I accepted to leave. If I said I was not going to leave, nobody was going to, nobody was going to, uh, Nobody was going to manage to deport me. Uh, it was a long time that they were planning, but when they plan, I scatter their plan. I, it's that power that I'm talking about. Is this which yeah, I was I was, uh, I was deported on, on Wednesday. On Sunday, I was in my church. Everybody that is, uh, that is my member or that followed me in Zambia know that I, I said bye-bye to them that Sunday. And people were crying, everybody, they were all crying, saying, Papa, what is going to happen? I told them that I'm going to leave the country. It was not even like a deportation that I was not aware. Many people say, see, I want to claim he has so much power, but he didn't prophesy his uh, deportation. Of course, I saw it. I told my church people, those of you that follow me on my Facebook page, we know that I said it. The video is there. I said it. I went bye-bye to my children. I told them, you are going to be watching me on TV. I'm not going to be here. I surrounded myself to immigration. If I didn't want to leave, no one was going to deport me. That is the power that I'm talking about. Well, is this witchcraft? I mean, I'm curious. Is, is this witchcraft? People are concerned. You're saying people are going to die. There's all of that if, if they don't give back the power. Are we talking about witchcraft, Andrew? Is, is this witchcraft that, that you are uh, promoting for the Zambian people? When we talk about power, 
many people uh, in our in in Christianity in Christianity people believe that uh, apart from prayer and fasting and Jesus Christ you cannot have power <laughs> but the question you must ask yourself sir is that um, before Jesus came how was our forefathers surviving when they are sick who used to heal them when they are poor who used to bless them they were power before Jesus came here so when we talk about power uh, people who are overzealous in Christianity people who think that they know Bible very well before white men came and introduced Bible to us we already had powers without prayer there were things that we are doing that was healing us already understand so those are those powers that we talk about so it's not, they, are, they are still working so it's not powers from from jesus or any of the christian beliefs just let's get that clear <laughs> i love when you say powers of jesus what is the difference between powers of jesus and the power that i give so it's not powers of jesus i'm not you must tell me because you talk about jesus white people brought jesus to us before Jesus came, who was healing our forefathers? No, there is power from Jesus. I believe, I pray. I love the power of Jesus. But I also have what is called supernatural power. The power that our forefathers were using. The power that I used to change paper to money. The power that I used to perform what I want to perform. The power that, you see, like the power I told, I'm using to tell PF that they will lose the election. Even if they go to to heaven and earth to pray even if jesus himself come from heaven what? and vote for them they will not win mark my word when when we after election you play this video again you remember that power works Tom, is it witchcraft i, I want to get that clear is it witchcraft white people call it witchcraft so that they can make it look bad anything oh. black people do <laughs> is bad if most of my clients most of the people that use my power are white people they don't call it witchcraft they call it supernatural power <laughs> okay are you serious about people dying though are you serious about that i i, I want to find that out of course i've done it several times i've done even in zambia there those people that offended me there are so many people that offended me i don't want to mention anybody's name because of fam their family and whatever but there are people that come to me they collect power and they, they fail to do what they're supposed to do and they die it's unfortunate that i have to bring this up um you you were trending at some point for allegedly having killed one of Zambia's media personalities and all of that and I know you know what I'm talking about from from your smirk is this true would you, would you confirm this I know what you are talking about but what I can tell you is that most musicians most businessmen and women most politicians in Zambia took power from me And many of them are still having my power. I don't care about business people. I don't care about um, musicians or whatever. The, the people that must return my power within 20 days is the people in government. I'm going to mention their name on Sunday. I don't care. I don't fear a, a, a interviewer. I don't know what fear look like because I don't have a heart. You will hear their names. And then just give me seven days they don't return my things they will die i don't there is no story about that you will know it okay okay i think thank you so much for speaking with us uh, tonight on tonight's edition of diamond wow. and later on the prophet sia one posted a new video on his facebook page and i caught those that knows me very well know that i don't make useless threats let's wait for sunday in the meantime in this video i displayed openly the supernatural powers that i spoke about watch it hashtag sia1 well in the video that he posted he was simply showing all the supernatural powers that he has performed before this raised panic to the government officials and popular zambian musicians resulting in denying having met the prophet or knowing him what really could this be is the prophet trying to seek attention even after being deported from Zambia? 
What power does he really demand from the PF government, which is currently in power? Is it the power to rule the nation or power from the spiritual world? The prophet claims of having his children in Zambia. This is an eyebrow raiser. 20 days countdown continues as the whole nation awaits what would happen later on. This has been the Social Media Stalker. Do join me next time on the next episode of the Social Media Stalker. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell button. Get notified whenever I upload a new video. Are you with me?